We're gonna go 50. And what well, looks good? I need to uncheck. You need to uncheck now everything that has to do with the left. And we're gonna go with the right now. And the right side usually has the cargo holds. So I'm gonna add my cargo holds. Okay. Now for the right paint, for it, you just gotta flip everything horizontal. This this will be a pain for some areas, like down here where you have it ankled a certain way. But for everything else, this will be pretty fast. So let me just flip horizontally my sky team. Triple seven. This is see this part's now it's gonna mess up. So we're gonna have to go edit transform horizontal up and rotate that okay apply top certified same thing it's gonna mess up and have to re-rotate it just rotate it okay apply zoom out and mystic blue you can rotate that <clears throat> US flag here you can rotate that you can rotate this this is your tail number way up there Peace Lodge base doesn't need to be doesn't need to be rotated, and then this is the Wi-Fi logo. Usually it has it on one side, so I'm gonna just delete it. And you could save it if you like, but this will be the last step. So I'm gonna merge visible. Same thing, magic wand, delete, delete now all of this extra stuff, and that's good. Okay. Now you can do this two ways. Um, one way is to uh, do it again on the right fuselage this time. To me, I don't I don't like that. I'm gonna go back to the left fuse where it's already lined up to make my job way easier. I'm gonna go to the top layer, Control V, and it it's a lot simpler to line up because all your text is there. So you just gotta pretty much line it up the way before. And as you can see, I forgot to copy and paste that last one. This isn't the right one, so we're gonna go Control Z, whoops, Control C, Control V. Okay, we're gonna zoom in now. And then we'll multiply. And we'll get this lined up pretty fast now because we have everything that's there already. Okay, and what's nice about this now, it's going to lock on to the other layer. It's going to notice it's the same thing, it's just going to lock on to it. I don't know if that makes sense. Same thing. It just, what I mean about that is, uh, we'll go normal, you see how it's way over here, and it's just going to fit into place. It kind of jumps, letting me know that, hey, you're not, it's not in the right area. It's not lined up correctly. That, see, from there now, that's lined up. It should be lined up nice and perfect. It is. So we're going to delete this again. It's a long, boring process, but it works. Delete, 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 delete. My overused deletes. Okay, control V this one more time. And um, I'm missing something. Just kidding. So we're going to go multiply. Right there. <clears throat> and um, it's already done. So I'm just going to go delete, 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 delete. Oops, delete. Deselect that. We'll go normal again. And that's done. 
So now this time we're going to go File, Save As. This time you got to change the name if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. If you're doing it the other way with the new files, you don't have to change anything other than saving it as a BMP. From here, instead of saving it as an L fuse, I'm saving it as an R fuse, which means right and left. We're going to go OK, Control V again. Oops, got to move this layer to the top. And we're going to do the same process. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna go delete that now. We're gonna delete this. We're gonna go normal. Control V. Just bring this over to here. It'll auto line up. That looks weird with that weird effect I have on right now. Multiply. Oops, normal that I mean. Control V one more time. <coughs> Lovely window error sounds with it. And, um, oops, I missed it. Lines up right there. Multiply. Oops. We're going to delete that to here. Go up to here and delete. D select, normal, normal, normal. We're all good. File, save as desktop, BMP. Gotta rename it to write though. Oops. R. Save. 32 bit. OK. Control V again. This is the final step. I encourage you not to rush the final step. It usually ends in disaster. And you get to go back and do it again when you could have done it right the first time. I've done it multiple times. Normal. Oops. Control V. Multiply. Okay. Good. Delete. Delete. DC left normal control V this one more time multiply and align delete delete deselect multiply normal file save as desktop save it as that right don't want to replace the file and get to do it again and we're going to save it 32 bit ok all right, now you think we're done? We're not. All these files right here are non-usable until we convert it into a DXT BMP, which you can get off the internet. I will supply a link to it in the description. So first of all, why even start this yet? We have to open up this now, as we are forgetting the critical part. Oops, don't need that. And we are going to go into our engines. And right here. So this is your paint layer, your layer one right here. It's gonna grab my magic wand, click one. I'm gonna hold shift now so it adds on to it. I'm not gonna go for any special effects. I just wanted a nice white. Actually, maybe Let's go, I don't know what type of color I'm sure I want this yet. We're going to go white though. So we're just going to save this as anyways. It's a BMP. Save. Okay. All right. So now we have our critical files. We're going to open this up. We're going to move this over so you have more. We're going to drag each one in. You're going to go File, Save as an Extended Bitmap, and make sure to select an extended 16-bit 565, 565. You're going to hit Save, Replace, Yes. Now you're going to repeat this process for every one. Let's just keep saving them. You can generally go pretty fast. You can't really mess up this part unless you save it as a wrong 
ending or is a wrong file type save it as a wrong file type like I did before your plane will be a um, a nice uh, bare metal from far away from close and it'll be very shiny won't look pretty you'll uh, wonder where you went wrong for a couple of weeks and we're gonna last ones are coming up save that lovely window error letting me know that oh this file already exists you want to be stupid and save over and I'll be like hell yeah okay last one file save as extended 565 now for instance not everyone you'll have to save an extended PMDD does .dds and you have to usually have to go image flip image in alpha before you save so it's different per repaint kit and I'll usually see in the read description so now for a repainter like me you're gonna I usually keep a shortcut on my desktop for Flight Simulator X and it allows me to edit anything from here it'll edit it in the actual simulator folder I'm gonna go sim objects airplanes we're gonna find we're gonna find the plane I just put in here, which is the um, triple seven. So we're gonna look for the triple seven. I missed it, obviously. And I am looking, and here it is. It is in Air India. Doesn't matter. The, I just downloaded a random one off the internet. Found one that worked for FSX. We're gonna go to texture dot Air India. And uh, as you can see, the Fly Pacific logos are the. Some stuff I did with another VA. Okay. First thing I'm going to do now is just... Yeah. We're just going to drag them all to here. Move and replace them all. Okay. Now, um... Let me open these, for instance. You can be uh, smart here, and you can go into these. If you want, I usually don't do it. It takes a lot of time. And you could transform your uh, cargo and pushback trucks to have your own airline on it. I don't like to do it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of tedious work. But if you do it, I would recommend making it an all white base. Save it as that on your desktop so you can just always go in and edit it. And same with these. These are what your cargo will look like. I can edit that too. I don't like it. It's fine for me to have posse. All right. All these other files you won't usually mess with. And um, from here we can uh, open up FSX and look what, see what it looks like. 